What's up guys, it's Cryptic and boy do I have some exciting news to share with you guys. We're going to be talking about Extreme Crimson Demon today and a lot of people have been having trouble clearing this boss and we are going to showcase some units that have been slept on. They also work in Red Demon in a big way and PvP as well. So today's featured unit is going to be Red Adventurer Barn. For those of you guys that didn't know, his first attack is basically Jericho's card, its weak point, and this does 3 times damage if you have a debuff on the enemy. Now the person we're going to be using to apply any debuffs is going to be Blue SR Gila, and she basically applies Ignites, as well as she's a very good support unit because she also does healing. She applies Ignites both on her first card as well as on her ult. So her first card does 1 Ignite on ranks 1 and 2 and 2 Ignites on rank 3. And also her ult applies 2 Ignites. Okay guys, we're about to jump into the Demon but before I get there I just want to mention this. If you guys didn't know, there is food that you can pick up from the guild store. I believe you need to be a rank 4 guild to do this. Now, Atlas, shout out to Atlas, he reminded me about this today. Um, I think it's 50 uh, coins that you can pick up th this food up for and I think you can buy 3 a day. So, if you guys are struggling for resources with regards to any demons, uh, whether it be red, grey or crimson depending on where you are in the game, that's definitely an option. You can pick these up, uh, it helps you to get uh, more resources. If you're struggling with like mitigating some damage, you definitely want to switch Gil out for Merlin and use the 3 star shields to mitigate some of damage. So yeah, I don't get the rank, well we both don't have the rank to go through. I do have Atlas in voice right now when we're talking and having constant communication. If you guys do not have raid partners, I suggest you absolutely go for that. Uh, pick up one of your guildmates, pick up one of your friends and say, hey, I want to do demons, let's get together and do demons. If we can jump in voice, I mean, 100% better. You can get comps that shouldn't usually work to work. Uh, for example, we do Cal and Gotha and uh, um, Arthur on Red Demon, and we usually do Red Demon in four turns. Uh, Grey Demon, I mean, it's usually between two to four turns as well. So if you guys can pick up a partner to do uh, demons with, that's highly suggested. So here we're just going through, we're doing some damage in turn 1, uh, we didn't have the rank ups, that was a bit unfortunate, but hey, that's what's gonna happen, that's a realistic thing. I got the turn, well I got a rank 3 luckily, I do have the rank up as well. But this is where the communication comes in important, right? Because I'm telling Atlas, hey, I have the rank 2 Gotha, but I don't have anything to rank up. So I, I told him, hey, I'm gonna merge it, but I'm gonna save it for next turn, right? And we're going to try to kill the boss this turn. I have that 3 star uh, barn card and I'm asking him, hey, do you have Ellie cards? No, yes. Um, I think he said that he did, but uh, I told him, here's what, let me kill. And then we're going to hope that we get barn cards next turn to rank up. So here I use a 3 star weak point attack and basically that's going to confirm kill the boss. Uh, it does a ton of damage, 124k from a 3 star with 1 ignite. Great, and we're in phase 2. Now in phase 2, I basically lose Gila on turn 1, and this is where it becomes challenging. So I say, hey, what do you have in your hand? Still talking to him, constant communication is important. And he's telling me, yes, he has a rank up, he has a buff as well. And I said, here's what, you have Gila, uh, you have um, SR Liz cards, here's what, I'll apply the ignites to you, and then next turn you pop off with Liz. Also, what I could have done here, instead of applying the Ignites, I could have healed. If I healed, I probably would not have died with Gila. That was a bit, bit of a misplay from my side, but hey, it happens. <laughs> okay, so the boss has 4 Ignites right now, and if you guys didn't know, Ignite basically increases damage dealt by 10%. So literally, if you were going to do 50,000 damage to the boss, and you have 1 Ignite, it's 55,000. 2 Ignites, 60,000. 3 ignites, 65,000 and so on. So 4 ignites gives you a, a decent uh, damage boost. And I do lose the Gila here because this boss does a ton of damage. If you guys uh, can run, I think it's Ruin. I am actually running, well I just leveled up Ruin to run him in Crimson Demon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to showcase what he does. Well not showcase, I'll show you what he does. Uh, his passive basically reduces all damage dealt in deathmatch by 20%. So he's a good suggestion if you if you are like constantly dying to this boss. 
So yeah, this is the power of Void Knights, right? These skills don't do that much damage. My Gotha has an HP set on. Um, but yeah, still deals 82k. His gill is 6 out of 6. However, I mean, it's it's gill. It's not that strong. He doesn't have attribute advantage, anything like that. But yeah, still does 166k damage. So yeah, the, S, the green SR... Sorry, the red SR Liz basically confirms that kill and here we're gonna see like uh what Bon is actually capable of so i'm using kane in the back um he doesn't do much because his ignite uh literally gets patienced off and very quickly i want to talk about this so he uses the the uh two star buff in the fifth slot now i get 20 percent stats from the gotha buff right uh the three star rank up gives 20 percent basic stats but that 2 star buff from Gil is supposed to give 40% attack and I don't know if it clears but even so if it does clear technically Ellie should have more attack right so Ellie is supposed to have 40% attack and Bon is supposed to have 20% let's say it works and that's the best case scenario if it doesn't work then bo they both have 20% uh, basic stats and we could see the direct comparison So the ignite gets patience off. I mean the boss that that just happens. It's a 50 level 50 cane. The the extort deals 100k and 342,000. I mean that's massive damage for phase three. Phase three the boss gets a huge jump in uh in the in defense, and this is usually the toughest phase to clear. So 342 compared to 285,000. Now I'd say Ban is worth running. So I didn't get too lucky with my drops this run, but I do have another run where I got like 14 drops, I'd show that as well. This is uh, the, the benefit of using the food from the guild shop. It gives you a lot of resources so that you can uh, progress quicker in the game. So thanks for watching guys, and this is a showcase on the Red Ventra Bond. Now he also does extremely well in PvP, and I'll probably showcase that maybe later on in the week. I do have him at 76 star right now. I think he was 60 if I'm not mistaken. No, he was at 70 when we made these runs. Um, but yeah, he's been a ton of fun in PvP. Gila, I have been using with uh, Blue King as well as Gotha. She does AoE Ignite. Her card does AoE. And as well as um, Blue King does an AoE Ult. So if you stack like 4 or 5 Ignites and then AoE Ult with King, it's just completely insane damage. And it's, it's a ton of fun to watch. So... Red Red Adventure Bond, definitely a unit to invest in if you don't have him. This is uh, like huge if you don't have Red Demon Melee, of course. He's going to be one of the best to do this demon with. Um, but yeah, if you don't have him, Red Adventure Bond, definitely a way to go. SR Liz, yeah, you can use her. Um, she does well as well. Uh, that's no question about it. She's a cheap investment. So guys, feel free to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.